I was gonna do a makeup tutorial on using my old school favorite products, but it's actually just me wondering how I ever looked like that. Babe! You came home! <laughs> You won't be in my makeup video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another makeup video. I've been waiting on doing makeup videos because now I have my tripod so I can sit in front of the window and do my thing. Today's video is me using all my old favourite products and I thought I'm gonna do a whole tutorial on this makeup look but it actually turned out to be just me doing my makeup and being like Wow! <laughs> Let's go right into it and I hope you like it. I look so weird looking at myself with my like old face, you know what I mean? Because I don't look like this anymore when I do my makeup. Let's jump right in. I don't have any makeup on right now. I only have my brows, which you know I thought I'd just skip because I can't remember what I used before the soap thing I used on my Fenty makeup video. No, I go on and off on eyebrow pencil and eyebrow pomade, so. My eyebrow stuff has been the same like forever, but to start off with my face, sometimes I use and used to use more often like way back is MAC Face and Body. I have this one in C3 and it matches my fake tan and you know I still use this sometimes. This is my old school favorite. I don't use anything else than this and this just works with me and it's the base, best foundation ever. I used this on my vlog, the previous video I did, uh, in the beginning when you saw me put a little bit of makeup here. This is what I used and yeah. But on my face I used to use MAC Strobe Cream, the original one, all the time. All the time I used to use this. I even found the perfect dupe for it from UK. I don't think they have this anywhere in Finland or I don't know. And called Botanics and this is called All Bright Illuminating Radiance, Radiance Balm for all skin types. This is like a dupe for Max Strobe Cream and I really like using this one. I still use it sometimes but I haven't been using Max Strobe Cream in a while so I'm gonna use that as my primer. If there's anything coming from here, oh yeah. I haven't really used this one as a primer in a long, long time and it gives like a nice glow. You know, I've been sick again. This is like, I don't know why, but yesterday I felt so sick. I've been sneezing, my whole nose is like burning and I'm just like drinking turmeric tea and try to get away with it okay because I don't wear foundation I have a lot of concealers and I still use like majority of them right now I'm just using the revolution concealer because I really really like it but these are like concealers that I used probably good a few years before I discovered the Makeup Revolution one this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I have it in a few colours again um, I really like the coverage old school favourite favourite concealer used to be MAC Pro Longwear it's like empty almost but this colour is right now way too light for me it's NC15 and um, in foundation I'm like NC30 so it's way too light for me but this one is like heavy coverage and sometimes I use it like mixed with other concealers still um, but not that much in this video 
sale though. I'm gonna use this. This one I bought when I was in Spain. This one I bought when I was in Germany. So I don't know the language. I can't. I think it's like anti-age correcting concealer. When I first got it, I was like, oh my god, where have you been my whole life? Love this concealer. It's inexpensive because it's from Maybelline. And, you know, the colours were quite nice actually. I never really liked drugstore makeup because I never find good colour for me because I'm like medium um, in the skin colour or really, really pale and I never found anything that suited me. So I have two colours. This one is light and this one is fair. Light is good for like all over and fair is quite pinky so I like it for my under eyes. So I always take the sponging off from this because it gets so disgusting and I really don't want to be using it. I'm actually a little bit closer so you can see my eyebrows. I don't know. And this is why I wanted to do this video because you know when you do your makeup routine you're like I wanna I wanna use this that I know is gonna be good I don't you know I don't know <laughs> you forget like how much you like something because you get the new favorite and then you use the new favorite all the time and then you forget that you used something else before that so this has happened to me right now I forgot that I used to really like this concealer damn honestly wow okay now I don't have the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, which is old, old, good favorite for me. Um, I had this Milani eyeshadow base, which I just, you know, I need a good eyeshadow primer. I have very greasy eyelids. It's not fun, and you know, not all primers work for me. I have to have like an actual real good primer so my eyeshadow doesn't crease and I've tried everything nothing works except the Urban Decay one and surprisingly this Milani one I've tried like every single eyeshadow primer you could possibly think and I need to quickly settle in this is my Laura Mercier Powder. Got you a lot closer. I'm sorry about my face. Although, no, no, because it's my face. Anyway, I'm gonna use my two oldest palettes today. This is the first palette I ever got. It's a legend here on YouTube, I know that. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Trio in Walking on Eggshells. It has the most beautiful buttery bone color, bronze color and this champagne um, pinky gold color and they are just the best eyeshadows I've ever had. I think they still do this but they have like remade the whole outlook but it's just so inexpensive and so good and this is what I use to use all the time with my MAC palette so this is a palette that I got from MAC I used to buy just like single eyeshadows like the buttons and then I decided that I have quite a lot of them I wanna put them in one palette and that's how I've been making this I haven't bought eyeshadows in a long time for this 
but you know someday I'm gonna fill this up and this one is blank type and this one is malt this one is brown down those are my oldest eyeshadows these two and this one and um, yeah I just used to wear them all the time I did like I like to do like a really round smoky eye which I think I'm gonna do now but more everydayish and um, yeah it's gonna be fun I have this blending brush from Kicks which is like quite soft and I'm gonna take malt first. This is exciting. I haven't done eyeshadows in my channel yet. I use this as a crease color, the MAC Malt and the blending brush from Kix. I just swipe it where my crease is. A little bit more. I used to love wearing this shadow like as an all all over eyeshadow, like all over my lid I just follow my own eye shape I don't really bring it like too far or anything or cat like and then I'm gonna take brown down which is a matte also I used to love like MAC eyeshadows all the time, like I wear wore them all the time. And then I got a few palettes, so sort of like not forgot them, but you know you're excited, you want to try new new palettes. I'm gonna do the same under my eyes. First, using malt. I've always liked using shadows and my mascara under my eyes because I have quite small almondy eyes, and I always really liked like dull eyes that are really round and big. Then using brown down. Also, if you, this is a tip, if you find like blending eyeshadows under your eyes really hard, like I know some people have really sensitive eyes, I know this because my friend re really, she can't stand me doing her eyeshadow down here, she's like, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, if you find that really difficult, use like small brushes, like pencil brushes and always synthetic um, hair on the brush because those are softer like this is a real hair brush it's not that nice on under your eyes but you know I'm used it and I really like this brush so I'm using it if you find it difficult get yourself like pencil brushes that are easier to get get under there and then use shadows that you know are gonna blend nice so you would really have to do like ching ching and that's it that's my like eyeshadow base done I'm gonna take a smaller brush and oop, blend type use this under my eyebrow and that's it from my MAC palette plus still MAC if you ever wondering what to buy me for presents just buy eyeshadows so I can fill this up. Thank you. I'm gonna use the champagne color because that one is like my ultimate favorite and I used to use that all the time. Taking my Real Techniques base eyeshadow brush and I put this on my eyelid. I also use it as my inner corner highlight. It's been a really long time since I've done eyeshadow. It feels so... I don't know, fun. <laughs> Taking the small brush again. Taking the lightest brow bone colour. 
put some of that in the corner. Now I'm going to use the middle bronze color. This is like the eyeshadow look I used to do all the time when I had this and a few matte shadows. Just brown and a little bit of lightness in the middle and then in a calm highlight. Wow! Okay, then I'm gonna do mascara. I don't really have an old school mascara because you know, I always changed it up. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational now on my up and bottom lashes. Brown eyeshadow and blue eyes is just... Yes. Next, I have my concealer on and now I need to bronze up my face. I'm quite pale so I'm going to use a little bit of Fenty under my bronzer. Just use this a little bit of as a base for my bronzer. Now I'm using the shade called Latte. My bronzer brush is from Primark actually, a real nice big fluffy brush and here's a bronzer I used to use all the time this is Bobbi Brown can't even read bronzing powder it's matte and I have the shade medium too I used to wear it so much because I really like using my matte bronzer the colour of this because it's like warm but it's not orange so you can see using the same eyeshadow brush that I used to bronze my nose it's matched my favourite blusher I used to use is Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush and this one is colour Love Hangover It's like a beautiful coral It's a little bit like satin finish which I like that I always take my blush like up on my temple even if I use a cream blush and um, just wipe it there this is really weird honestly I went to the toilet and I was like wow your face is dry I don't understand how I've been using powders all my life sorry my highlighter I used to use quite a lot is another powder this is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Cheeky Bronze. This, you might think, is like quite too dark color as a highlighter for me. But I actually love this as a blush topper and then bring it on my cheekbones as a highlighter. It's so pretty. It's such a nice color. I use like quite a big brush for it. Hold on, how do you do this? Aha, uh -huh. there we go. This one is from... Del Bdellium Bdellium Anyway 974 Doesn't have any name but it's like tapered and quite big So I just tap it Tap tap And then I start off my cheek actually I could go out like this but I don't think I want to anymore <laughs> right so let's move on to my lips I used to have this combo that I really really liked 
and this specific color on my lips which I don't use anymore but I used to like like pinky mauve nudes but honestly nowadays I really prefer orange lips they look so much nicer on my skin this one is makeup store lip liner in color fairy tale dream and it's a matte And then this one is MAC Brave. Oh my god, I look like old me. <laughs> I think I've done everything that I need to. Just a little bit of this to minimize the powderness. everybody thank you so much for watching this makeup video I was shook when I filmed this alright I don't it's so funny to use your old favorites because you don't really think of them anymore you just want to use your new favorite products and when you use your old ones you just like look like old you like I feel like I look like an old me and honestly I feel funny because I don't really feel like me. I like my current makeup routine and since I did this video I think I'm gonna stick with that because I don't like this much powder on my face and I don't understand how some like one day I've been wearing all this powder on my face. <laughs> if you like this video leave me this one a thumbs up so I know that you like it leave me comments of your old school favorite products and maybe i test them let me know if we share any common makeup products that you used to love and now you do something else and yeah let's have a chat about this because i really liked this video i liked filming it Yay. anyway thank you so much for watching i hope i see you next sunday bye